Hi, this is Andrew McLean, and this is a little how to ski a chute tutorial. We are standing here on top of what is called Holy Moly, looking into Cardiac Bowl, being serenaded in the background by the Wasatch Powderbird guides who are going at it right there. This is about their 87,000th trip up and down today, but moveon.com. Uh, so, looking at this chute. Now there's been some wind, you can see there's been a little bit of wind this way, but the cornices are also pushed back that way, and this scouring here makes me think there's probably been some up canyon winds. So there's not a lot of wind loading in this, but it is steep, it is north facing, it is uh, at least steep enough to be avalanche prone. Uh, all of these trees mean that it's kind of a broken up uh, bed surface. It's not homogenous. These are all islands of safety, but they could also be little uh, trigger points. So what I would do in this situation is try to be conservative about it. Uh, I would watch out for a big open bowl like that. Probably not center punch it. I would definitely watch out. See how there's a lot more snow over there. It looks like a little bit of a pillow to me. Uh, in this case, the first thing I'd do is look down. It looks pretty firm. Okay, that's probably not going to slide anywhere. I'm going to check to make sure my boots are all locked in. A little bit icy. I'm going to do medium rip on my toe pieces. Make sure I don't have any straps dangling or anything like that. But first, I'm going to just go down into this cool bar and then kind of stay on top of the tree. The idea is that if it does avalanche, that tree is going to be right there and I'm going to try to grab onto the tree. But I don't think it's going to avalanche. I think it's actually going to be icy. It's more of a concern. Uh, shoot skiing, I go into it very conservatively. It's just fun to be here. That's the exciting part. So yeah, firm ice. But now we're getting into better, softer snow. So yeah, this, this ridge has probably been wind blasted and I think the snow is going to get a little deeper down lower, at least I hope. But we're still going to be conservative. There's two lines, one around each side here. I think I'm going to try this one. It looks a little better for skiing. I know it's icy underneath, so I'm going to ski very cautiously, conservatively. A few tentative turns, feeling out the snowpack. Got a little slough coming down. Really now my thoughts are much more about the icy terrain and chances of slipping and falling. I don't think there's really much of a chance of an avalanche occurring, but you never know. This little pocket there. Turn, turn, got a little slough, chugging down. It's good for down below. It's getting a little better. More like it. Want to pause, let this slough go by. Uh, actually, this is not looking so good down here. I might have to boot back out. We'll see. This is where whippets come in handy. I'm going to slide down here. It's kind of ruining it for anybody that follows me. It's going to be a sheet of ice. Huh. What do you know? Somebody's left a rope in there. Never seen that before. Wow, this is dicey. Don't like it. So, probably not too bad for down climbing. I guess that's what I'll do. I'm either going to have to climb all the way back up or boot back down. So I'll take a break and be back. All right, through the magic of video, 
I am now down climbing, and this is where whippets really come in handy. Not so much for stopping huge whipper falls, but for down climbing stuff like this. It's nothing too dicey. It's got a hard crust underneath that I can punch my foot through it. Most importantly, with whippets, they're kind of like little ice axes. I'm just shoving them in for extra security. So I'm going to down climb, see if I can get around there. Hopefully I can. Alright, we're back. So I've now down climbed from kind of right up in there and just down climbed about 50 vertical feet. And in retrospect, I probably could have skied down that, but uh, part of my shoot skiing philosophy is better safe than sorry. It looked kind of steep, it looked kind of icy, and uh, here I am. I'm in a nice safe spot. It looks like I'm going to be able to slide over in there. So I've stopped right near a tree. I like the idea of stopping near something. So, you know, you can hang your gloves like this if you need to around a tree. Or you can grab onto it in case something avalanches or rips loose or you slip, etc. And what I've done is I've stomped out what I call launch platforms. And this is a nice firm spot so I can move around, I can get all my gear set, I can get my skis on, make sure I'm ready to go before I take off. Because you don't want to start out and have your skis half on, half off, unbuckled, and take a fall down there. So, launch platform, holding onto the little tree, put my downhill ski on first, launch platform keeps it nice and safe like that, step into it, make sure, get a little bit of lock. Now, and stomp out a spot for my uphill ski. Clean off the bindings, stompity stomp, clean out my pins, step in, bindings locked, a little bit of lock there. This is another advantage of whippets, is they give you something to stick in. Your pole sticks right there, they don't fall off. I like to shorten my whippets down for down climbing or climbing in general. It's got stops on them. So I pull them out and they're exactly the right length. No probability on them. You can't take them apart and make them probe. So now, after a slight delay, we are back in action. So let's see what this is all about. Still holding on to this. Oh, yummy. Once again, I'm gonna do a little whippeting. It's actually pretty firm. Not only that, this is horrendous. Oh well, live and learn. Being the eternal optimist, I'm betting this has to get better. <laughs> Please. Oh yeah, that's some pretty stout crust. All right. Well, damn, that's firm. It's gonna take a while. We'll be back. All right, back again. So that took a lot of very cautious side slapping. What we've got is a very firm ice crust underneath and the ice crust can be punched through but uh, you can't really hold an edge on it so I basically just sidestepped all the way down there worked my way against the trees and what happens on steep shoots like this is a lot of times they'll slough so even if there's been two feet of new snow on top of this crust because it's that steep it's just continually slough the whole time so live and learn what I've got now, this is almost pathetic. Actually, it is pathetic. I've down climbed and made a few turns all the way up there just to get down to this. But this has a lot of slough from up above. So I'm betting even though it's not virgin untouched powder, it's gonna be pretty good skiing with all this fill. So let's check that theory out. That's it, pretty good. Okay, holy moly. That's more like it.
And there we go. Holy moly. Not so good today, but we made it through, learned a lesson, and we won't be skiing any short, steep, north-facing cool bars again today. Bye-bye.